Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, we will do an example of SFD and BMD of a simply supported beam with symmetrical triangular loading. This is our beam AB of length L and maximum loading is here at the midpoint which is W. First, we have to calculate the reactions at A and B which will be equal. So, R equal to RB equal to the total load on this beam is the area of this triangle. So area of this triangle by 2. So half into base is L and the height is W. It is the area of the triangle by 2. So reactions are W L by 4. Now we have to take a section at a distance of X and have to calculate the shear force at this section. So SF at a distance of x equal to the upward force here is Ra minus the downward force is the area of this triangle. So first you have to know the height of this. Say the height here is W1. This triangle and this triangle are similar triangles. So from the similar triangle rule you can calculate this height. So W by base is here L by 2 equal to height of this triangle which is W1 by base which is X. So half into base is x and the height is 2wx by l. So this is the equation of the shear force. At x equal to 0, shear force is always equal to the reaction here which is Ra and it is positive which is wl by 4 or you can put the value of x equal to 0 in this equation also. So you get sf equal to W L by 4. At X equal to L by 2, SF equal to W L by 4 minus W by L into L square by 4. You get 0. So the shear force diagram will be symmetric. And at this point B, it will be equal to the reaction at B, but the sign will be negative. So let us draw the shear force diagram. You see, it is a parabolic equation that is with X squared. The diagram will be curved. So we got the shear force diagram. Now coming to the bending moment diagram. Bending moment at a distance of x at this section will be moment for Ra, Ra into x minus moment for this force. The force is half into x into 2wx by L. It is the area of the triangle. And if you have to calculate the distance of Cg of the load from this section. You know that at Cg, the distance always divides in 2 is to 1 ratio. So this distance will be this distance by 3 into x by 3. So this is the bending moment equation. Put the value of x equal to 0, you get bending moment equals to 0. At x equal to L by 2, you get the maximum bending moment. WL square by 12. You see this is a sagging bending moment. The sign will be positive and it is a cubic curve. So the bending moment diagram will be like this. Maximum at midpoint is positive and the value is WL square by 12. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. See you in the next video.